so hey everyone and welcome back to my channel and to, so usually i try to vlog mondays and wednesdays because uploads are on tuesdays and thursdays usually on this side channel but unless there is an exception then i will vlog earlier but i will still vlog I like upload on Tuesdays and Thursdays like today is Friday and I've decided to take you along today because first I'm gonna get my COVID shot which I want to take you guys along with me because I'm sure a lot of you hasn't gotten your, sh your shot yet so that is what I want to do and then I need to go to um it post like a mail like a package for someone and then I'll take you guys on a shopping trip with me. So I was supposed to get my COVID shot like last week. But because I had my flu shot on like the eve of Chinese New Year and when I asked the nurse then if I could if I had received the message between one now and one week from now, am I allowed to take the shot? So Obviously, she said yes. So, because she is a medical professional, I trust her. So, and then I resigned from my job, and I think saying, oh, I don't have to worry about um, getting the shot because I won't receive the message. But, obviously, I still received the message anyways so I was like what the heck and I already received the message so let me just book that is like one week after my flu shot and when I received the message and I was like let me just book for that Friday which is last Friday to get the shot but when I went in the doctor that was giving me the shot said asked me have you received any like shots recently and they said yes I received a flu shot last week and she said that she told me that if you received a flu shot last week you shouldn't get the COVID shot because if you have a reaction we want to be safe that it's not from the flu shot or from the COVID shot. So to be safe, wait till next week. Because then it'll be two weeks. So then my question, that's when I asked them saying, when I fill out the form and when it says, have I received a shot within last 14 days? And when I click yes, shouldn't the website have clarified when I got the shot and not say that I'm eligible? So we are out of the polyclinic and I didn't, I decided not to film in there just because. Anyway, I had to head towards the post office to mail out the items first before we head to the downtown area just want to show you guys what shopping is like in at least in Singapore and today is the Lantern Festival so we'll try to like cover as much as we can before this evening so 
Now we are ready to set the package and I'm on the way to the train station. Usually we take the blue line anywhere but because we are going downtown we're gonna take the green line and change after but so the whole so went to the COVID vaccination and how to say that there is like a few things that they stated there that that related to the vaccination that you didn't feel numb, you didn't feel tired. And so I was like, okay, no worries. I'll probably be able to stay awake sitting there 30 minutes because they want to check that night. I don't get like anything. And suddenly the last 10 minutes, I was literally sitting there falling asleep on the chair waiting to get my number down. So we are here in Auckland and I need to go to Iron Falls because I had to use the bathroom but I just want to show you what's inside Ion and then we're going to go up to the street level to show you guys what is on the street level too. We are up here in Ion, there is a lot of stuff going on but all I can say is that they are doing a major renovation in here and I have to look up there. Basically, is has all like, like all the most expensive brands that you have National Duty, Ibisu, uh, Tiso, which is a watch company, uh, BPN Oil, uh, Tat Baker. The only one that is cheap in price that here is when you go down not this oscillator but the other oscillator you go to Uniqlo and I have to say that it's the only one that is like cheap in price otherwise like mainly otherwise mainly in like Ion itself all the brands in here are basically one of the most precious like brands and they are one of the most expensive in a lot of sense so we are going to head out of this building and we need to find another artwork because this is not a good artwork at all and we're going to show you what the building basically looks like and if you are a tourist and you're looking for like places to be shopping in like Orchard is one of like the best place to be shopping in because it shows like a different like, perspective for um, shopping in at least in like whole of like Southeast Asia like Singapore you have like like shopping for like the rich then shopping for like the middle class then shopping for like the you know, I would say poor poor but like at least for like the lower class in the same like area basically so little explanation so Tang's Plaza is when it's like mainly you find at least for me, it's like a lot of like middle class stuff and between middle class and high class so there's a lot of like items that are cheap in a sense and can have some like, items that are, are expensive then when, on my left right here, Shaw House 
it's I don't know how to explain it so there's it's a little bit like tanks and iron so like Shaw House is basically like you have different stuff in it like clothing brands but basically it's like iron where it is like a lot of like expensive things then on the left here oh hit here a little is a wheelock place but wheelock place now there's not a lot of things in it but it's basically the cheaper and like max and spencer and everything and on the right here so right here this one this is lucky plaza and this is where all like when you're if you've been to singapore like all the filipinos all hang out here this is where you get all the stuff like for cheap extremely cheap so you can get like a pair of shorts for like a couple of bucks the the highest it will go it will be like ten dollars or something like that and then we have iron where we just came out from where we have all the expensive brands like Prada, Coach, Louis Vuitton and yeah so we'll keep on heading straight and I'll probably head into Lucky Plaza to show what is in there so right behind the blue building it's Wisma so Wisma is basically so there's a lot of Wisma is the most of the places in there is like restaurants mainly compared to like shops so um but there are a number of like branded like items but mainly most of the branded items are mainly watches instead of like clothing and the building right behind here that we're walk right, walking past this is Takashimaya so there's a mixture again between branded and non-branded and if you like to have like books Takashimaya is one of the places where we have Kinokuniya which is the Japanese bookshop that yeah, I will show it to you guys so you don't end. So basically from this escalator up onwards you are it's mainly like high end class restaurant. This one has Crystal J which is like a very nice Chinese restaurant. If you ever come to Singapore you have to eat in this one. And then we are going into Kinokuniya and we are going to walk the ground. So, uh, yeah. So what I like is the section of things. And then you have like the pigs. So I've decided that we will not step into Lucky Plaza. We will just continue walking to Somerset and we will go to Uniqlo there and because I need to get some things from the, for the shop online and to show you around the area around that side too. So yeah. So we are in 313 Somerset. What is nice in 313 is that if you come around 6, 5, 6 p.m. when it's cooler, 
to sit in one of these like up here because you have this one which is Chinese called ice cream or the one of the water what is nice is that it's nice to sit up here just to eat and to have a drink and even this one too things like stamps and everything like that and on this side of you see a lot of like pop-up shops so um, we are going to take the train back because first I am exhausted from that COVID shot and I just want to be home so then yeah then we can like talk about further things but right now this is how what it's like we're having shops like going shopping in like Singapore so yeah this is the end of today's vlog and yeah so click the like button and that will let me know that uh, you would want to see more of these kind of contents. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And click on the bell icon to get all the notifications when of the next upload. And yeah, so catch you guys in the next vlog coming out very soon.